Well, it was an eight-day mission. Think of Gilligan's Island, a three-hour tour. It's anything but that. It's turning into eight months in space for two astronauts who caught a ride on Boeing Starliner. The spacecraft took them to the ISS, but NASA says it's not safe to bring them back home. Fox's Chelsea Torres is live from NASA tonight in Houston with more. Chelsea. That's right, John. Christina, the Starliner took astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams to the International Space Station back in June. And the Starliner, though, did have some leaks of helium, and it was also having problems with its thrusters. So NASA said that it wasn't that it was too dangerous to put the astronauts on board for their trip back home. So now the spacecraft is going to return to Earth, but it's now returning empty. We're all committed to the mission which we started out, which is to bring Butch and Sonny back. But as we got more and more data over the summer and understood the uncertainty of that data, it became very clear to us that the best course of action was to return Starliner uncrewed. The thrusters help maneuver the Starliner in orbit, but they've been overheating. And a former NASA astronaut says it's hard to predict how they'll perform after Starliner leaves ISS. He also says he expects this to delay the Starliner's next launch for a couple of years. I think the attitude they're going to take is, hey, uh, we're not here to punish Boeing and say shame on you and the program's canceled, but rather let's work together. Let's work on the helium leaks. Let's work on the overheating of the thrusters and let's have another test flight without I would uh, I would recommend the next test flight uh, is uncrewed. Now, NASA is going to uh, return those astronauts back to Earth, but it's not going to be until February of next year, and it's going to be through a SpaceX capsule. At the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Chelsea Torres, Fox 10 News.